can't, you gotta say your line. Oh, what's my line? Oh. Today, I'm doing one one with Angela Rye. We're gonna talk about acting and human desire and all of that type of stuff. Angela, that's my girl. She is the truth. We got a special guest. Angela Rye. Angela Rye. Angela Rye. This is On One with Angela Rye. It's a masterclass series where we only learn from the best. And today's master <laughs> is Willard Smith. <laughs> <laughs> How's your family? Everybody's good? My dad won't stay home. Really? <laughs> your father has survived enough. Okay. You're gonna, you gonna learn. Oh Lord. Now another Willy Llama moment. I call him Willy Llama. Willy Llama. He's gonna teach me how to act today. Yes. I am so excited about that. We're we're launching the next phase of your career. I need a I need a prop, Will. I need a prop. Oh look at I I gotta wait. I gotta do it over again. Um Let's, let's first start with, with like a, de a definition. Acting, acting is performing actions. You learn how to simulate in an authentic way the reaction to the fantasy circumstances that have been presented. So in order to do that, you pay attention to human beings that learn how to relate. You learn how to have compassion for someone who believes things that you don't believe. You have to completely discard your opinion and open yourself up to the emotional comprehension of someone else's plight, no matter how foolish it may be to you. I feel like it would make me a better host to know how to act and connect with people in a different way. Oh no, absolutely. So there are places you may not want to go. You know, I was going to do Django. You were? Yeah. Because of the psychological space I was going to have to live in, Willow was like, Daddy, please don't. She knew what the, the time around the house would be. She's like, I'm good. <laughs> Is there a transition to getting back to the will after you're coming out of character? So this is one of the things, and I've never talked about, I've never talked about this, right? Breaking news! So I did method acting on Six Degrees of Separation. Everyone's in a constant state of luxurious despair and constant discovery and paralysis. <laughs> Method, acting Method acting is when you submerge yourself, confining yourself only to the thoughts of the character. You eat what the character eats, you teach yourself to like, kind of clothes the character likes, blocking out will and only living as the character. When you do that, you realize Will Smith is a character just like the character is a character. You there know, goes a really Lava moment, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention. Right? Here we go. What you realize is that your ego, your personality is a, is a construct just like the character is a construct. Everybody's a phony. It's like on Six Degrees of Separation, I fell in love with Stalker Channing. A part of it became me. Dang, so that's why y'all be crazy. Right, <laughs> exactly. I don't I don't do method acting uh, anymore because when that psychological ground falls out, it's horrendous. So if you don't do method acting anymore, what what do you do now? Like I use my personal experiences, creates the similar emotion. You keep what we call a toolbox. Toolbox. Of emotional perceptions that you can call on in any given circumstance. I got some tightness in my chest about that. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as acting exercises, okay, you okay. run through all the different ones until you find the one that hits it for you, right? So let's try one. This is a good one right here. I like this one. You just so trying to make me look crazy on the next. <laughs> this is the one we're gonna do. So this is misery. Oh. So if you'd like me to stay in place in Monopoly, I'd love to. Hmm? I know you've been out. Oh, I haven't. Paul, my little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. Look at his hand. He's reaching. He's reaching. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Is this what you're looking for? I know you've been out twice, Paul. First, I couldn't figure out how you did it. 
but last night I found your key. Paul, do you know about the early days of the Kimberly diamond mines? Do you know what they did to the native workers who stole diamonds? Don't worry, they didn't kill them. No, if they caught them, they had to make sure they could go on working, but they also had to make sure they could never run away. The operation was called hobbling. Ooh, tragedy. Oh, oh tragedy. Amy, whatever you think, I'm not doing it. Please don't do it. Any of you gods. Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. Amy, please! Oh! Tragedy! Tragedy! Almost done. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm crazy, but I ain't that crazy. <laughs> so how how do you how do you connect with someone who's like I'm a I'm a hobble you? Rather than going to method acting and trying to hobble, okay. you're going to access your emotional comprehension. We yeah. would start to mine your experiences, right? So when you told that man, boy, bye. You raised the issue. I'm just asking. You raised the issue. I'm did just, he, and I'm, and did he ever is, release his transcripts and, or his admission Corey, to Harvard University? You raised Corey, the issue, so Corey, just yes or no. Corey, in this moment, I'm going to no. say you. Boy, bye. Right? I wasn't going to break his ankles, Will. That was a digital media hobbling, right? <laughs> 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 what was he saying that you had to tell him, boy, bye, on national television? I had been arguing with so many dumb ass people. Yep. He was talking about Barack Obama wasn't from America because he was born in Hawaii. Right. I'm sorry. Okay, you now, stay that. there, okay. hold that okay. emotion. Okay. Now, my character, I'm gonna be Paul. Yeah. Now, and you have the words in front of you. I have the words. Just use these same words, but be in that circumstance in your mind to transmit that emotion that you feel. Okay. okay. So go ahead, start at the top. Okay. Paul, you've been out of your room. No, that's not true, I haven't. Paul, my little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. Listen, Annie, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been out. He reaches for the knife, he's reaching for the knife. Is this what you're looking for? Mm. I know you've been out twice, Paul. At first, I, I couldn't figure out how you did it, but last night, I found your key. And scene. See, I like that. That's hard, like my chin is sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were upset with your father? It's about him leaving the house. So my dad has been leaving the house a lot. It's, it's more like a like a nagging annoyance, like we've been over this. Which is really good because the first line is you've been out of your room. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Like, dang! So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, here we go. But he's not staying out, so I'm ready. Action. Last night, it, it came so clear. I realized you just need more time. Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. Paul, do you know about the early days of the Kimberly Diamond Mine? No. Do you know what they did to the native workers who stole diamonds? Don't worry, they didn't kill them. No, if they, if they caught them, they had to make sure they could go on working. But they also had to make sure they could never run away. The operation was called hobbling. Look, Annie, look, whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, please don't do it. God will trust you. It's for the best. Do it. Go do it. I can't. You got to say your line. Oh, what's my line? Oh, Annie, Annie, for God's sakes, please. Oh! As seen. Can I tell you how I need to go to the gym? You know that five pound weight almost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very proud of you. And the more you understand yourself, the more you'll be able to understand your characters. And the beauty about acting is that is the human skill for successful relationships. Yeah.
love relationships. It's the same in political debate. It's, it's the same throughout all human interaction. The more you comprehend your own personal pain and suffering, the more you'll be able to develop compassion and harmony with others. That's a good word, Will Smith. That's how we do. Acting don't work out for you. You got a career in acting coaching, okay? <laughs>